Okay, today I'm going to explain the uh, SPM Additional Mathematics. This is two thousand four, paper one, question number five. Uh, question number five. All right. In this question, I think it's a quadratic question because in the first sentence it actually mentioned given that the quadratic equation two x squared plus m x minus five equals zero where m is a constant. Constant, it just means m is a number. Alright, so find the values of m if one of the roots of the equation is 2. So that means, I, I say many times in my video, the meaning of root over here means the answer for x. Okay, the meaning for root over here means the answer of x. Okay, means in this question uh the question trying to say is that one of the x answer here is two okay you must understand this so i i will say something like this so this what question trying to tell me one of the answer of x is two all right so that means this is quadratic equation you know you have two answer for x mean one of it is two the other one you do not know so then he asks you to find the values of m Okay, so what I will do is, okay, if I know x equals to 2, so what I will do is, when x equals to 2, so my 2, x squared plus m x minus 5 equals to 0. So this is 4 multiple 2 is 8, plus 2m minus 5 is 0, then 2m will equal to 3, negative 3, m will equal to negative 3, over 2 all right this is how we find m easily you just need to understand yes one of the root actually is 2 mean x equals to 2 okay this is part a and for part b the question say the sum of the root of the equation is negative 4 and then it asks you to find the values of m if the sum of the root of the equation is negative 4 so whenever you see sum of the root this is keyword for part B because sum of the root you know is something like sum of root. So you should remember one formula in order to solve this one, which is x squared minus sum of root x plus product of root equals to zero. Okay, this is the important formula for this chapter. So okay, so that means the question trying to tell me sum of root is negative 4 so that means this one will be negative 4 all right so what i want to do here is i will change this equation into this pattern okay i say this formula you have two things you need to pay attention first is the coefficient for x squared is always one the second is this one is always negative so what i will do is i will divide two for every single one to make the x squared become one and then I will separate the plus become negative multiple negative because negative multiple negative you will get positive okay so you see what I, I do here is 2x squared plus mx minus 5 equals to 0 I divide 2 so x squared plus m over 2x minus 5 over 2 equals to 0 then I separate the positive symbol so it will be x squared minus negative m over 2x plus negative 5 over 2 equals 0 okay why i want to do plus negative 5 over 2 because i just want you to see the, the same thing between this formula and the equation i just write sum of root sum of root product of root product of root do you see that okay however in this case the product of root is not so important we're going to use the information of sum of root Okay, sum of root is negative 4. That means this one will equal to negative 4. So what I will do is, sum of root is negative 4. is given by the question. So my sum of root in my own equation here is negative m over 2. Negative m over 2 equals to uh, negative 4. So m equals to 8. That's all. Right. This video is not really, uh, I mean this question is not really difficult. The important part is whether can you understand the question or not. 
Okay, you just need to remember this formula because a lot of students know actually they want to divide 2 for every single one. But some of them actually will make mistake is they, for, they forget that this formula is must be negative. So a lot of students will do m over 2 equals to negative 4. And then end up, your final answer will be negative a. And then you will be mi minus mark or, get, or wrong for this question. So make sure you remember carefully about this formula. And you're trying to change your equation into this pattern yeah, using all the algebra method you know. Alright, I think that's all for question number 5. Thanks for watching.